Has Iran acquired an aircraft carrier? This question is being widely discussed in the media these days. The newly introduced Shahid Bagheri is presented as Iran's first operational drone carrier. In this video, we will thoroughly and precisely examine every detail of this vessel. Stay with me. We have interesting points and key analyses ahead. Let's start with the appearance and dimensions of this ship. Shahid Bagheri is about 240 meters long, placing it among large class ships. Its height reaches 21 meters, and its estimated weight is around 35,000 tons. This makes it a very heavy and stable sea platform for various missions. One of the ship's key features is its flight deck. A runway between 160 to 180 meters long is designed for launching drones. It features a ski jump ramp at the front, similar to modern helicopter carriers. It also supports the landing and takeoff of helicopters. The ship's drone carrying capacity is notable. According to official reports, about 60 drones can be stationed on this ship. Reconnaissance, combat, and even loitering munition drones can be deployed from this platform. Such a drone complement gives the ship significant offensive and defensive capabilities. In addition to drones, Shahid Bagheri can carry fast attack boats. Around 30 light missile boats can be accommodated on board. These boats are highly effective in high speed and asymmetric operations. A unique combination for Iran's naval tactics. Helicopters also have a special place on the ship. Between seven to nine light helicopters can operate simultaneously from this vessel. Anti-submarine, reconnaissance, and support helicopters can launch from the deck, a complementary capability that extends the ship's operational reach. Now, let's talk about weaponry, an area attracting a lot of attention. Shahid Bagheri is armed with Noor family surface-to-surface -surface cruise missiles. Depending on the model, these missiles have ranges from 750 to 2,000 kilometers. This allows the ship to strike distant targets. But that's not all. Advanced electronic warfare systems are also installed on board. These systems can disrupt enemy communications and radar. Electronic warfare is the backbone of today's modern combat. Radar and flight control systems are also highly advanced. They enable simultaneous control of dozens of drones. Drones can operate kilometers away from the ship and autonomously return to base. Where did this ship come from? Interestingly, its hull was originally a container ship a Perrin class vessel completely rebuilt and refitted. The entire process took only two years. This project was carried out in IRGC naval shipyards. Chabahar and Bandar Abbas were the main centers of reconstruction. Iranian engineers fully designed and equipped the ship, a major achievement for Iran's maritime industry. In February 2025, Bahman 1403. The ship officially joined the IRGC fleet. The commissioning ceremony was attended by top commanders. Since then, Shahid Bagheri has become a new symbol of Iran's naval power and has drawn international analysts' attention. But what missions can this ship perform? Maritime reconnaissance and intelligence gathering are key missions. Additionally, it can conduct targeted drone strikes, a floating platform for drone and asymmetric operations. The ship's seafaring capability is also impressive. Shahid Bagheri can cover over 19,000 nautical miles. It is capable of operating in the Indian Ocean and the Red Sea, and can remain deployed in open seas for months. Alongside this ship, Two other vessels serve with the IRGC. Shahid Madavi and Shahid Rudaki have participated in joint naval exercises. This means Iran now has a squadron of drone carriers, a significant shift in the country's naval capabilities. Now let's compare it with other carriers. 
U.S. ships, like the USS America, have similar lengths to Shahid Bagheri. However, Shahid Bagheri focuses on drones and asymmetric warfare, a fundamental difference in operational doctrines. China has also developed Type 075 class ships. These vessels can carry helicopters and drones. Iran has pursued this path independently with Shahid Bagheri, a smart move in the regional context. In the Persian Gulf, no similar ship exists. No regional country has yet introduced an operational drone carrier. This gives Iran a tactical advantage in regional waters and sends a political message to its rivals. What do international analysts say? Many view this ship as enhancing Iran's deterrence because drones can strike from far off locations and are not limited to Iran's shores. However, this ship is not comparable to traditional aircraft carriers. Its goal is focused on drone operations and asymmetric warfare a mobile platform for smart and cost-effective tactics, not a direct competitor to giant aircraft carriers. From a technical standpoint, this ship is a complementary tool. Rather than relying solely on a traditional fleet, Iran has turned to drones. This is reflected in Iran's new naval doctrine, and analysts have repeatedly highlighted this trend. Its offensive power is also notable from attacking enemy vessels to targeting coastal infrastructure. Cruise missiles and attack drones provide flexible capabilities, a mobile strike arm in the heart of the seas. Some reports suggest more ships are under construction. The IRGC intends to expand its fleet of drone carriers, so we may soon see new ships joining the force, an ongoing evolution in Iran's naval power. In summary, Shahid Bagheri is a modern and capable ship, a drone carrier platform with diverse capabilities. It plays a key role in regional naval dynamics and is shaping the future of Iran's naval tactics. Now a question for you. What impact do you think this ship will have on the regional balance of power? Will it transform Iran's naval strategy? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. More exciting analyses are coming soon.